how are you doing? We are live. We have two minutes to go. Excellent. Welcome everyone. Oh, we're gonna have some full fun house. This hey, we're yeah. gonna have some fun this morning. It's gonna be exciting here. We have Thank people you. checking in. It, it's gonna be a great, and I I see different ones popping up that uh, I've reached out to. I'm so glad you could come. This is a good gonna be a great event. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> It does have a little stretch, stress attached to it, though. You know, there are always the hiccups. Then I have to go time out, and everybody goes, "All right, she's got to, she's got to do her thing." So we're good. <laughs> the time out sign I understand in this household. It's great to have James here as the moderator too. This is really great. All right, we're at eight o'clock. We're at eleven o'clock on the East Coast, eight o'clock on the West Coast. Welcome everyone to our webinar today and I'm really excited. My name's Kirsten, I'm a public health dentist here in Phoenix, Arizona and I help Tom time to time with his webinar presentations and um, I'm excited about this one today because it's sort of an inaugural presentation for you today, Tom. So um, new devices that Tom is going to talk about. Uh, I'm here not just to launch this webinar today and provide you with housekeeping, but I've used this device personally, especially this year. I had a life-threatening uh, Clostridium difficile infection, was on multiple medications that I didn't respond to and had a um, emergency procedure to save my life. But being on all of those medications and being severely malnourished with a 35-pound weight loss, I had horrible oral health conditions as well. Um, and I used Tom's device, thank goodness, and um, was able to turn around lichen planus and just a host of um, oral health conditions. So I'm very beholding to Tom for developing this product. Um, housekeeping for you all, please note that if you have any issues with the technology, just go ahead and type in the chat area. We also do want you to type your questions in for discussion. There'll be a QA and a later. Um, I'm going to be turning it over here to Michaela and Tom in just a second. Uh, if you should get bounced out of here, whatever your connection, just use the link that you received to join it again. If your audio or video goes out, just refresh your screen usually. That will take care of the majority. Um, be sure to check out this call to action button at the top of your screen because you'll get $100 discount on any device today and a free case, I understand. So Tom, it's great to be with you here again, my friend. I'm gonna turn it over to you and I'm gonna make myself scarce for a while. Well, I'm gonna turn it over to Michaela for, for a sec here and she's going to go for it. Michaela. Thank you, Kirsten and Tom. Welcome everyone. We have received an overwhelmingly positive response from Dr. Malone's Substack article. So we're really excited to share more about the numerous benefits and applications of PBM. Please note, those of you who have reached out to us with questions via email this past week, we appreciate your patience as we respond to each of your inquiries. We will beginning, beginning by uh, a, with, with Tom describing a brief introduction of himself and his company and the mission and vision of Some Power LED before we introduce our guest speakers and testimonials. Some of those speakers will include Dr. Jerry Ross, who has been practicing general dentistry with special interest in lasers since 1971, as well as Dr. Mel Birchman, who has been practicing since 1976. Tom will continue with the description of our product line and the differences between each device. So without further, further ado, here's Tom. All right, well, um, just a little bit of background here. Um, so Kerber Applied Research uh, was established in 1991, uh, Kerber Applied Research Incorporated. And before that, I was still involved in electronics. So I have over 40 years of involvement in electronics. Um, back about 15 years ago, I met up with a doctor because of my wife's illness. And uh, with that doctor, he shared with me that light could activate a compound. I would have never believed that, but light can actually activate a compound, a drug that can kill cancer cells. And so there's, there's a lot of research behind that. And we're still in the research mode in a separate company called Illumicell. And uh, from there, um, we are now going to talk about 
the light technology that is used, just light alone, no drug. So Kerber USA is the company that we're putting out to um, for advancing the PBM devices. So our vision as a company is to um, is to provide healing technology for around the world. That's that that is a real strong desire of mine, and we're committed to pushing this technology, uh, the boundaries, and move way past that. So we're committed to pushing technological boundaries and with uh, devices, light, light devices, uh, to improve health. I'd, so I'd like to introduce right now, Dr. Jerry Ross. Um, and he is well spoken around the world. He's a, a phenomenal guy and a friend. Thank you. Good. Thanks, Tom. Um, as, as it was said, I'm, I practiced dentistry for 50 years. I retired from active practice, just am teaching lasers now. Um, the other thing I want to bring out, and I always do this in my presentations, I have no conflict. Uh, I don't get any money. If you buy a unit, I get no commissions from any laser company. So this is just me as a practitioner talking. So a question for you all. What if you could invent a, invent a drug that could increase healing and deal with most of the medical conditions out there and different injuries? Secondly, what if that same drug could reduce pain and inflammation? And lastly, what if there were no side effects? You, you could write your ticket to wealth if you could invent that drug. Well, it's not a drug, it's light. And it's the form of red and infrared wavelengths that do this. So the term we use for it is called photobiomodulation, or as I maybe talked later, PBM. That's just light doing all these effects. I've been using the light in my practice since 1993. Uh, first started with lasers, and now it's lasers and LEDs, both of them working interchangeably. I've been writing uh, about this and teaching it since 1996. One of the things I do is I go to meetings, I read articles, and I write manuals for the dentists of how to use it successfully. So when you're using a PBM, there's basically two modes I'm using it. The first you use a very low dose, and this is used for stimulation. And Tom's manual, you'll see, it, he'll talk about four joules per centimeter squared. Um, depending on the, the lights, it's different times, anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute to, to get the four joules. That's for for stimulation or healing. With that, we can do some things like we treat cold sores in the mouth, aptus ulcers, denture sores. I can use it in implants to get better integration and healing of the bone. Um, Mel's gonna talk a little bit about one of the things that's a big side effect of chemotherapy treatment um, is something called mucositis. And to, if you ever heard of mucositis, think of having hundreds of cold sores all in your mouth and throat at the same time. A lot of people, pretty well everybody that has radiation therapy in the mouth gets mucositis. Well, PBM can actually prevent it, or if you do get it, manage it. As I said, expect Mel will talk a little bit more about it. Um, then in high doses, we get inhibition. What I mean by inhibition is that's pain control and reduce the amount of inflammation that's out there. So in my practice, I'm in a small town, so I've always done all kinds of surgery. There was no specials around when I started. So I take out impacted wisdom teeth, um, do bone surgery, do all kinds of complicated surgeries. But the big thing, when I use PBM at the end, I don't use any opioids ever. And very rarely do any pain medications at all. There's almost no swelling. So with all the opioid crisis out there, this is a huge thing. In fact, just last year, I spoke to the meeting of oral surgeons, who's the single biggest group doing it on exactly this topic. Uh, a large part of my practice through the years was treating facial pain. I started doing this in 1985. With facial pain, I'm talking about pains in the jaws, um, TMJ treatment, TMD, neuralgias like trigeminal neuralgia. And I was doing this on a referral basis from other dentists. When I started in the 1985, I was using a lot of pharmaceuticals. And the problem with these pharmaceuticals, they had a lot of side effects. So I'd write the prescription for the medications I needed that I'd often have to write more prescriptions to write the, the, the or to counteract the effect of the side effects of the medications. When I used um, PBM, I did no drugs at all. And not only that, I had a much higher success rate than what I used to do before. And most patients, one of the things that I found nice with PBM 
is I interacted with those patients because these, these patients were often sent to me as a last resort. And some of you may have conditions where you've got the same thing. You know, you've been told by the doctors, you've got no, we can't cure this. You're just gonna have to live with your pain. Well, I talk to patients, I tell them, you know, I think we can help you. I think, I know we can improve things. And I've had patients literally sitting in the chair crying when they learned we could help them. So it has been such a rewarding thing for me doing this. Uh, another huge thing that I found that I could do with PBM, and I've done some studies on this. I used to do a lot of my fillings and on children and never use needles. So you can actually use PBM to, pre to actually prevent the pain as well. So you can imagine what effect that had on kids. Um, so it was great in my practice, but it also goes into all fields of medicine and dentistry. I, I I, Jerry, I really wish we could, we, we're going to have more segments where we can really expand on PBM, but I'm sorry, you got fine. some fantastic information. All you people that are out there are going to have to sign in again uh, when we have the next event and we'd love to have you join and I know you'll be able to uh, join us. So thank you. All right. Our next speaker is Dr. Mel Birchman. Uh, Dr. Birchman has also been uh, speaking around the world um, to dentists and to locations where doctors and dentists use PBM or first-time learners. So here is Dr. Birchman. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Mel Birchman, and it's my pleasure to speak to you today. Like Jerry, I'm a co-founder of GMA Laser Education, and we presented and taught people about lasers, especially photobiomodulation, all over the world for over 25 years. As a matter of fact, last weekend, GMA was the keynote speaker for the Asia Pacific Laser Conference. As a dentist, I've been using lasers for over 25 years and PBM for 23 of them. But not only in my practice, but in my home with my family. I have eight PBM units in my house and my wife, son, and I use them regularly. As a matter of fact, just last week, I had an implant placed and used it on the implant and no pain, no pain medications, and no swelling. The benefits of PBM are so numerous, it sounds almost too good to be true, but they really are. We get an increase in cell respiration, cell energy production, lymphatic drainage, endorphin release, RNA and DNA protein synthesis, faster wound healing, we decrease pain, we stimulate blood flow, stimulate growth of bone and soft tissue, stimulate nerve regeneration, and increase stem cell production. But amazingly, this only affects damaged cells and has no effect on healthy ones. As a dentist, I would not do a root canal extraction surgical procedure without preconditioning or post-treating an area with PBM. By preconditioning an area, we are setting up a totally different healing paradigm as we're treating that area prior, prior to any trauma we produce. It opens up the lymphatic vessels for better removal of inflammatory products, and we're inf increasing the blood flow to the area. Well, how does this work? When we have damaged cells, we have oxidative stress, and this blocks energy production. By applying PBM's light energy to the area, we're removing this stress, increasing energy production, and allowing the body to heal faster and return to proper functionings. So, as I said, I have eight units in my home, but I want to tell you about my favorite one. And as Jerry said, I am getting paid not one, nothing for this presentation. My favorite ones are the Tom's ones from SunPower LED. And in my opinion, Tom's units have all the others in its price class beat hands down. They have a large surface area, I hope you can see this, of 40 centimeters squared. They have great power. They come in 660, 810, and 1050 nanometer wavelengths. Now, you can deliver a stimulating dose of four joules per centimeter squared in as little as 25 seconds, and an inhibitory dose to decrease pain in as little as 50. This is way faster than any of those other units. And as I said, it's especially impressive that it has such a great area that it's treating. This decreases the time you need to get your desired effect. And I mentioned four and eight joules as Jerry did. We want to do stimulation for healing, but if we want pain control, we have to go over eight joules per centimeter squared. So we all the time get the question, how much time do I need to put this on? 
Remember, it's the power density, the joules per centimeter squared, and with Tom's, it is way quicker than many of the others. Now, just yesterday, I received an email from one of our students showing photos of her son and telling me how wonderful this unit was in helping her son, get, who gets cold sores all the time, get rid of them quickly and decrease his pain almost immediately. She then also asked me about working PBM on her dad, who just had a hip, hip replaced and constant pain. Well, as a fellow old man who had back surgery last year and a hip replaced this year, I told her how I used my unit, how great it was for my healing and pain control, and for the first time in ages, I am on absolutely no pain medications. One day, one of my assistants, Jen, came in, and she showed me her forearm. It was totally burnt. She dropped a hot iron on it, and you could see the entire outline of the iron on there. I immediately sent her to one of the back treatment rooms, told her to take out the laser, showed her how to use it, and she could not believe how fast her pain went away and how quickly the area healed. My wife, Sue, has advanced pancreatic cancer, and her chemotherapy was 100% fulfirinox, which is the strongest chemo you can receive. She also received the maximum dose of radiation that they give. Now, Jerry started to mention oral mucositis, and this is one of the most debilitating side effects of chemotherapy, but because she used the laser every day, she got not one single sore. Now, this also helps with many of the other side effects of chemotherapy, nauseousness, cold tingling fingers, neuropathy, TMJ pain, that's your joint up here. This has helped her with all of these, and she did not receive one single skin burn from all of this radiation. Uh, chemotherapy and radiation also give you fatigue, and I taught her a protocol to use for this. But not only did I teach her to use it, I do that on myself every single day. I work out every single day, usually for about an hour and a half to two hours, and I use the laser for preconditioning before I go to treat. Now, many of us have had children born, and the baby might have had an increased amount of bilirubin. So if you remember, how did they treat them? They put them under a blue lamp. This, is, this blue light has been the standard of treatment for care since 1958. So PBM yeah. works. It's an incredible technology. I that hate can, to you do can bring, this. I hate to do this. And works and can bring it to your home at a really inexpensive price, especially when you compare it to the prices of many medications and even their copays. Okay. Thank you. And only one one small thing is is Jerry's so used to lasers because he's been doing it for 30 years. This is an LED device that can produce the same light technology as the laser. So it's interchangeable, but he's been using our uh, our uh, LED unit. Now I'd like to, thank you very much, um, Mel. Um, now I'd like to introduce Alistair. And Alistair, if uh, we could uh, have you on, that'd be great. Hi, so I'm uh, I'm Alistair Harland. I'm, uh, I'm located down here in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Uh, I'm 44 years old. And I know Tom or Uncle Tom, um, as he is uh, my father-in-law's brother. Uh, so that's how I know Tom. Uh, so I'm a business uh, operations manager down here, and I'm a firefighter. I'm also a creative photographer and a boxer. Uh, so I'm a pretty busy guy and pretty active uh, almost every day. Um, so I've been struggling with uh, both knee and shoulder issues uh, for quite some time now, um, obviously shoulder and knee from boxing and specifically knees from crawling around on fire scenes and in fire training. Um, so, I mean, I can't actually say for me, like there was ever like a defining moment when I felt something was not completely normal with my left knee. Um, but I do know it like go through repetitive trauma all the time from boxing and crawling around and, and high intensity workouts. Um, so, um, and I knew, when I had the problem with my knee, if I hadn't like if I wasn't going to address it right away, um, it was going to get uh, worse and worse. Um, I knew Tom had been working with uh, the photobiomodulation and light therapy for quite some time, and I finally reached out to him um, after not really getting super far with our traditional family doctor um, and medicine that had been prescribed for pain and stuff. Um, I'd done multiple ultrasounds and X-rays, and I knew I had a small ACL MCL meniscus tear. And positively, 
some degenerative arthritis, um, which sounded pretty doom and gloom. So uh, reached out to Tom and went down to the uh, medical office in Hamilton, had a consult with him, and he explained how photobiomodulation and near infrared treatment works. And again, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to call it, cut it on this one. Oh man! You, you okay. Cut, you, I cut it on the good part that you use the light technology and how this light right here, the Palm Pro. There you go. <laughs> it did okay. heal me. Thank it you. did heal. It did heal. Thank you very much, Alistair. Um, we're going to go on to our next guest, um, Mark. If you can come online here. All right. Uh, greetings, everybody. Uh, my name is Mark Bergen, and uh, I was introduced to the light back in 2012 when I had a bucket handle tear of my meniscus playing baseball. And the light um, was uh, was given to me to try to get over some of the swelling and some of the discomfort that followed that injury. And so I applied the light uh, every day for probably a good week and a bit. And the swelling went down and the inflammation was uh, subsiding and I was able to finally start walking again. Um, and that really helped, especially when I was wearing a brace. Um, after that, I did, have, uh, I did have surgery for it. So I actually used the palm light here uh, throughout my recovery. And, you know, between this and a little bit of ice, they re uh, reduced the swelling significantly. And it just made everything feel a little bit more a little bit easier to walk and just with mobility, especially with still wearing a brace, it actually did a great job of just allowing me to be able to kind of get from A to B because that uh, I was told by doctors that it could be something that, uh, you know, would take you off your feet for quite some time. So them not knowing about uh, the specific treatment, I used it as well. And uh, when I went for checkups, they were very shocked to see that how well I was recovering. So um, uh, this along with uh, a lot of patients, and uh, everything that, uh, that follows uh, an injury like that, uh, the light uh, certainly did help with uh, the recovery and uh, a lot of the discomfort that I experienced with that particular injury. Well, that's great, Mark. Thank you for uh, sharing. Uh, it's so neat uh, to be able to see how this works. So right 100%. now, we're going to move off. Thank you, Mark, for joining us. Uh, right now, we're going to move off uh, to talk about the products that, that we have. And um, so... Uh, the reason I understand PBM technology is because it goes back uh, 15 years. Um, I started, as I mentioned, uh, with the high power light, extremely high power light for the cancer stuff and uh, to have photo activate the drug. And I would have never believed that light could make any difference on the human body. Um, I just wouldn't have believed it. But uh, on one of the occasions when I was doing a, a repair on the uh, upgrade on the uh, cancer light. I thought I, I fell uh, from a second floor uh, from a ladder, um, landed on concrete. Not a good idea. Bad flying lessons. And I heard, I really hurt my back. I didn't break anything. But every year, two years, I'd go in the extreme pain. And in this one occasion, I just happened to have the light available and uh, the, the cancer light. And then I thought, just I'll just use the light and no drug, just light. And uh, within a half an hour, I significantly reduced my pain and uh, pain that I had. I couldn't believe it. And that's when I developed the number of lights. So the first light that I developed, um, a lot of people out there that uh, know me are familiar with the first one. This is called the Genesis Health Light. And uh, we are using that or I developed this for treatment, different spots in the body. I've had people that have had migraines and they've done really, really well. Uh, well, matter of fact, totally eliminating migraines uh, with this. So that was the beginning. And when I saw how much of a difference it did on my side, I have a collection of YouTube videos that you can look at. Uh, just search out Tom Kerber. But anyways, so just recent, the, the last while, I've developed the new palm lights. So this was the first one. This is called the classic. And um, that light, uh, again, can be uh, used in different spots now. That one is actually, this one here was a little less power than the, the original Genesis Health Light. And um, more recently then I figured I wanted more power. So I came up with the uh, next version of this, which is the um, Sun Power Professional. And the Professional has um, a series of uh, LEDs in there, very high power LEDs. And so in this case, this happens to be the 660 nanometer light and um, you, you can use it wherever, as uh, Mel and the others were talking about, knees, ankles, shoulders, 
Um, it has a 660 nanometer, as well as it has an 8, 810 nanometer, and 810 nanometer uh, penetrates deeper. So if you, uh, with this particular device, you can reach deeper than the classic. So um, the uh, if you look at this, it there's you can see the light, but it's very, very dim. And that's only because our eyes can't perceive it. Uh, and so it, it's quite strong. If you use an Android phone, uh, not a not a iPhone because iPhones are too expensive. They have a very good camera system and they block the near infrared, so you can't see it on there. But Android phones, you can actually see near infrared with them. So in this case, the, the next version up is this one here, which this one is the uh, uh, ultimate the Sun Power uh, Ultimate. It's got a higher cost attached to it because we have more power coming out of the device and uh, and that helps speed up the treatment uh, time that you can do th do things. It's a very large area of treatment. So um, that's the uh, the uh, ultimate. And our newest kid on the block is what I'm very, very pleased with is the 10 uh, it's the new 1050 nanometer LED. Now there's the same 660 nanometer. And then this is the 1050. And if I look at the 1050, well, you can't see anything. It doesn't look like much. You can actually pick it up in this camera. Uh, you can see these LEDs, but they're actually totally invisible to anyone's eyes. So we actually had to put another little LED on there just so that people knew there was actually something happening. So this, the 1050 nanometer is the longest of wavelengths that we have, and that allows us to penetrate even deeper. So there's the different models. Now, I've also got behind me, this is another version that you can see has a very, very large area of light. And that's what I call the mini canopy. I first started off with a canopy, which is a big one, which does your whole back and neck in one shot. And what was I gonna call the, the other one? Well, this is the mini canopy. So it's it's one sixth or, or six of these make one of the canopies. So this mini canopy, you can see the area that it covers can cover a whole back, like a, a whole section of your lower back at the same time. That's really nice. And uh, so this is this here is one wavelength. This can be tilted every which way. And uh, so you can bend it down to right over top. You can raise and lower, do whatever, point it everywhere you need. And then that happens right now to be the 810 nanometer. And uh, if I switch it to the other wavelength, you can see there's the 660 nanometer, rather bright. Um, and it's it feels absolutely gorgeous. As a matter of fact, these devices put out the same total power per square centimeter as the sun very very close um so the only thing different is that we don't have all the wavelengths of the sun we just have a narrow band of wavelengths in around in this case either 660 nanometer or 810 nanometer so that is the uh this is uh, the uh, mini canopy and uh this is we're working with uh, uh universities in the us with this technology and they're uh, working on doing some tri some other research materials that we hope to come out soon. Um, I'll also mention just one other thing about the light is wound care. About two, two well, about three years ago, we started a wound care study, and it got by the time it finally got approved, it took a year and a half to get it ethically approved. When we finally got it, we're able to show that that it's very possible to help speed up the healing on diabetic wounds and uh, venous ulcers. And uh, although that still requires all of the good way of uh, doing things, um, it, uh, you know, as far as the bandages and everything, but um, it, this light can help speed up the healing so you can close that wound down further. I've had a couple people avoid amputation because of using the light. And our newest device that's not, not totally on the market yet, Now you know I'm crazy. I have developed the first Sun Power LED helmet. It has 10 of the lights, uh, 10 of the palm lights around it, the, the, the equivalent of 10. And what that allows you to do is you can uh, allow light to go penetrate the skull at the longer wavelengths, the 810 nanometer. And we've had people with uh, that 
Um, there's research out there that shows that you can help with strokes, dementia, Alzheimer's. There's a whole risk, a risk of brain injuries that can be helped, concussions uh, that can be speeded up and helped by this, uh, this technology. Now, I do want to say that as you guys, as whoever, as you stay in on our conversation here, if you stay to the end, we have a free um, a draw that's going to be taken, and you will be able to get, um, uh, or one of you is going to be able to get one of the Super Palm, uh, sorry, the Palm Ultimates um, uh, for for being here. So um, I'm excited to do that. So. Um, like to tell you then there's a can you go back to the other slide please thank you so we have um, if you want to buy there's a promotional code you need to copy that code and paste it so that you get your spaces right but that'll give you a hundred dollars off on all of our devices uh, actually the uh, in the classic we've gone even further on the classic we want to get this into people's hands and so inst instead of 650 US, it's going to be running at 495. So that's a $155 discount. Um, there's also for you, for those that are, this is hard, something hard to, harder to budget for. Um, the, um, we are offering three equal payments uh, that can be done and you can get the light right away and start using it on what you're trying to treat. And uh, we will be offering more um, uh, more uh, seminars coming up for more training on to how it's to be used. And um, yeah, it's, it, I'm, I'm excited about being able to introduce this to so many. I first started with the dentists and we really want to see this happen. It's a, it's a real goal of mine. It's a, uh, that um, I really want this to help the healing of the nations. Um, people around the world to be healed, not just those that are, are wealthy. And um, I also, it's my, I, my personal um, is that I really want to do the very best I can and honor the God that I serve. So I'm just trying to do my best here and uh, we're going to move on to a question and answer period. And we got some ads, some questions coming up here. Okay, um, somebody had asked about a particular product um, and the thing that the difference here is there's toys and there's real medical technology. So, I mean, uh, you can go, you can go hundred, you can go hundred miles by foot. You can go hundred miles by bike, bicycle. But if you put the right fuel in into a good car, you can get there in a very short amount of time. And uh, depending even on what kind of car you're driving. So we have different versions of what can get you there faster. And um, certain ones are. Uh, fit for different purposes. Another question that came up was, what is the difference between the two wavelengths? Uh, why do you use that? Well, there's actually, there's many different wavelengths in the sun, as you know, and there's a band that is very good for um, healing as, and different purposes. So as a matter of fact, UVV is very important to you for vitamin D production. And then you go to UV uh, into the uh, uh, red 660 nanometer, and that allows you to get uh, um, gets you deeper. And uh, also, um, there's different mechanisms that happen there. And then on 810 nanometer, uh, that allows you to penetrate even deeper. And there's other mechanisms there. So if you're trying to treat your hip, the 810 nanometer is definitely a better wavelength to use than 660. But six at the same time, I still suggest people using the 660 nanometer to uh, because there's other mechanisms there that can also be beneficial to, to you. And we will be coming up, like I just absolutely love uh, the two uh, doctors that I have on today. And uh, they will, they're gonna have training, additional training courses coming up. So we'll get into that more depth. Oh, um, and thank you uh, for asking that question. That was a really good one. I got another question from Brian here. Is there any benefit of using both 660 and 810 uh, one after another? Yes. Um, so it's pretty much anywhere on the body, both can be beneficial, um, but I it depends, and we'll go into the, the protocol, what could be beneficial for something like just trying to treat 
arthritis in the hand versus trying to treat sciatic in the hip. We use a different, different amounts of light of the two wavelengths, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. And as well, um, it can be, it will give you as to how long somebody uh, needs to treat. Because if you're going to try and treat very deep to reach the joint, you're going to need more time than if you're trying to treat something very shallow because of the absorption of the light. Another question came in here from Lisa for uh, 1050 need, it, 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 he, somebody's, been, I, thank you for understanding Lisa, what I've been saying. Sometimes as a, as a designer, I can't get the, the message across, but 1050 nanometer, you asked would, how would 1050 nanometer do for tr treating the hips? And yes, 10, either, either uh, the ultimate at that point uh, or the at 810 or a little better yet is to go to the 1050. Um, so skin and uh, there's a comment from Maurice. Um, please comment on the benefits of uh, to skin and hair. Well, it turns out that hair is the beginning of PBM back 60 years ago. It turns out that the one um, uh, the one um, a researcher was seeing if he could heal a uh, wound, uh, uh, well, created wounds in, in rats, and they ended up shining laser light, which was the only light that was available to more, more recently. Um, and LEDs now can far outperform lasers in certain activities. Um, but he was, they went and they were looking at the effects of healing a cut in the skin of rats. And what they were, they were aiming to heal the wound faster, which they did. But they found that the the rats that um, that got the light, they ended up getting hair growth really quickly compared to those that didn't get treated. So there's another question. Uh, hey Tom, I real quick, order. Yes. I wanted to just remind everybody there's a red banner at the top of the screen. So for anybody who wants to know more, they can tap on that banner and it will take them to all of the information. They can enter the promo code and check out or give you a call. All I needed to say. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, I wanna, uh, yes. Uh, so we will, uh, uh, specific conditions, we'll get back to you. And um, as far as for uh, gout on the toes, the uh, even though you asked about the super palm, I would appreciate the, the extra business, but no, I'm. Uh, it's fine. The either the ultimate or the super palm. Now, if you're gaining in age, um, I would move up the scale in units because you're going to end up using it more often and you want to keep your time treatment time shorter. So either the um, in any the professional, the ultimate or the super palm can be uh, beneficial uh, to uh, the condition with gout. And as a matter of fact, Dr. Malone, who wrote that wonderful article post um, about the light, he was using the ultimate. Uh, do I have another question here for me? Um, yeah, this would be considered this device. The question came in is, um, and, and by the way, you keep asking questions, uh, throw them up and email. And you know what? You, here's a email that came in um, to me privately and it says, is your device considered medical grade PBM? Yes, it is. As a matter of fact, we've got universities using this technology as well. Um, and uh, all over. Um, how does your device help to reduce, this is another email that's come in. How does your device help to reduce inflammation? Well, there's a whole series of things that happen with light. What happens is the first thing, one of the big things is the light goes into the cells and it's, it's just like a tree can absorb light uh, of different wavelengths. And so can your, the human cells. So when a, when a cell is starved because of injury, you could imagine the blood flow is really slowed down in this case to my fingertips. But if you use light, what happens is it just releases everything. The muscle spasms start and other things that start tightening down on the area. It helps that the, the blood starts flowing better. Um, there, it helps the lymphatic system to, to be able to drain the stuff from there. And there's a whole host of things that it can help with. So the, um, uh, it really does, and the main thing is, and I'm missing, it pours in a huge amount of energy into the cell. A cell can absorb that energy out of the mitochondria, and what that does for you 
is that will allow you to give energy to the cell. And it's like giving the cell a million dollars. So let's say your house is broken down a, a fair amount because you haven't had uh, money to be able to do the repairs. In this case, the cell has been starved for the energy. You've done something to yourself. You've got some kind of issues. Well, when you when you give the, if I was to give you a million dollars uh, and say, go ahead, do you know what you want to do with your house? And the, and you know exactly what you want to do. And that's the same with the cell. The cell can absorb that light. And once it does, it has a million dollars in its possession and it starts going nuts and starts fixing this and dumping that and bringing out the wheelbarrow, so to speak, and uh, whatever it needs to start cleaning everything up. And that's what the light can do, what uh, the energy. And there's all sorts of research I have on my uh, Facebook page for Sun Power LED. Um, you visit it, it, that there's all sorts of research. There's only 5,500 studies out, research studies out there on different light technologies, but basically light itself can do wonderful things. Okay. Uh, will the 10, 15 nanometer also stimulate, this is from Lisa, will the 10, 15 nanometer also still stimulate tissues that are more superficial or just deeper tissues? No, it, and, and that's a case of dosage, which will catch up with, you know, how long you treat and that, but in the most part, it helps the tissues, whether you're using 1050 or 810, but the 1050 does give you the benefits. So down the road, if you have to treat some deep issues like sciatic pain and trying to reduce pain, the 1050 will get there too, but so will the ultimate. Do you have documentation and instructions how to treat various areas of the body? Yes, Brian, thank you for that. And um, and uh, with that, there there we have documentation how to do that, and we also we will be giving more of these seminars so that we can get this information out there. Uh, we have another question here from Catherine. Um, okay, and uh, sorry, Catherine, just one second. I've got Kate, Catherine here. Yeah, sorry, Catherine. Um, I apologize for you, but. I have a 19 year old nephew in a car accident over Labor, Labor Day weekend, four brain breeds, uh, great past memory, short term. Okay, I, I kind of get it. Um, light therapy uh, is very, very good for the brain. And there's more and more research coming out as to how it can help the brain to heal, just like it can help the body to heal on any other spot. Your, your brain is made up of cells. So those cells can absorb the energy but the key thing is you need the right amount of light energy to get to that. As a matter of fact, I'll share one because you've asked about the brain. One individual was recommended from one of the professors at the University of Buffalo who had seizures. And it was a, a, so, a colleague of his who was also a professor. So they, he knew where the scar tissue was on the brain. And um, the first time around, he used the light. Uh, sorry, not my light, the professor in this field of technology for the past 20 years. Um, he used it on, uh, sorry, he got treated with another light source uh, by the uh, professor. Well, when during COVID, uh, he had uh, two months of treatment and he was totally free of seizures. Well, those seizures came back during COVID about two years later. He was totally free of it. And when he came back, uh, the other professor said, look, I can't treat you because of COVID restrictions and all that. Go get a light from Tom. So he ended up using the light, uh, the 810 nanometer on his brain, uh, on the skull, um, and that penetrates in. And uh, in his case, he is now 16 months seizure free. And that's a fantastic thing. I've also got another, another text that just came in the other day of a woman with, um, she says the first time in 20 years that she hasn't suffered from headaches. Uh, fantastic stuff. Okay, um, I've got another email here from Maria. Is there a list of what type of injury and time of light and, uh, that would be beneficial to support the healing of the injury? Yes, we can get into that if um, you wish. And as, as I said, we'll be giving more information. One of the challenges is that we know that light can be used all over the body for all different kinds of issues. And I have to really call them issues because we can't heal any diseases. As some of you know, there's, we cannot talk about those things that could help heal the body. And so we can't even, unless we have 100 patients 
study that shows how it works, we can't get into the nitty gritty as to how many different things it can help. All I can tell you is there's a lot of people that benefited from this. Okay, uh, I fell and have posterior tibia tendon dysfunction. Um, lots of fancy names here, I know, on the muscle, uh, and that's from Joy. Uh, on the muscle in my leg, I am 76. What would you re recommend? Uh, okay, so uh, just by the fact that you, first you also ask, how do I sign up for the drawing? You are in the drawing here. Um, as we get close to the end of this uh, this questionnaire answer period, because you signed it into this event, um, so in an answer to your question, I had one golfer that totally tore off his tendon, and um, he uh, re had it surgically uh, returned uh, or put back on place, and in the course of um, in the course of the, 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 they said that. Uh, it happened in April, and they said, you won't be able to start using this leg to any extent um, for quite a long time. And he says, well, what about golfing in June? He says, no, 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 you don't have a golfing season. Well, this guy was using the light every day, and uh, that's why I recommend that this light be used every day, and you can even use it twice or three times a day. But in this case, he treated every day. And um, he was back on the golf course in June. They could not believe the speed of healing. Um, if you're dealing with uh, uh, the two, two dentists that were on, we're talking about different things, um, uh, different problems with the mouth works beautiful. So uh, abscesses, I've had a few people that have said that uh, they had an abscess, they were looking at a root canal and they were able to totally avoid it just by using the light. There's so many uses for this. So whether it's in the mouth, whether it's, uh, um, there's responses now that are showing that even um, PBM can be used for tendonitis, ringing in the ear. Um, excellent for cold sores and those kinds of things. Okay, we've got another, uh, uh, Alicia, I have my unit on order. Fantastic, thank you. Um, uh, this here, okay. Uh, yeah, it, it really helps. I, I can't get into some of what you've asked for, but it really, really helps to give the body the energy it needs, to give the cells the energy it needs. You don't, uh, it's interesting. When we get a cut on our finger, how often do we go and tell the cut how to repair itself? It knows perfectly how to repair itself. But if you, if you, if you do use the right materials to help it along, there's wound care, there's, there's the right bandages, there's the light. So I had um, uh, one, uh, fifth, uh, I think she was 14 year old girl. She was fooling around in a tree with her friends with a rope and they were having all this fun. And um, somehow they she jumped out of the tree while she had the rope around her hand. The, hand, the rope ended up lassoing the end of her finger off. Um, she went to the hospital they had to shorten the bone um, and uh, uh, no grafting, but just shorten the bone and uh, uh, stitch it together. And they said, look, you're gonna need multiple surgeries ongoing to try and heal this properly because there's gonna be scar tissue. And what was really cool is that, and she, they, on the two week follow-up visit, the, um, the surgeon said, this is crazy you don't you're there, there's total healing here you don't need any further surgeries there there is no scar tissue that i can see here that's gonna there's there's nothing there so the hand healed up that finger healed up perfectly um any uh any, okay this is from john uh, john i'm um i'm sorry i don't know what that skin condition is uh fall, okay i fall i guess that would be hair um, um, I can't read the rest of it. Sorry, I don't have that, that background. But on hair, they've shown that this can help. There's two different kinds of, if you've got cells that are underperforming in hair growth, yes, you can improve the hair growth. If the cells are totally dead, they will, it doesn't matter how long you sign the light on it, it's not going to regenerate those cells. Um, there's another question here from uh, Roland. Do I need to shield my eyes? 
Um, yeah, it, as far as it's wise to wear some dark glasses, uh, darker glasses, if you're going to be treating up in the area of the sinuses. Uh, but as far as if it, uh, just a brief passing of the light, it's no different than being outside, outside in the sun. You don't have to wear your glasses for every second of the day. Um, you can, uh, a lot of people, you know, so as far as if you treat here, yes, you should be using something dark. If you just see it for a moment, no, it's not going to be da damaging to your eyes. So do you stare at it for 10 minutes with your eye open? No, you, I do not recommend that at all. Um, oh, and then there's the promo code on the top there. If you want to click that button, that'll take you right to the, our site to be able to purchase our devices. Uh, this is so cool that everybody can join us and we can talk about this. And as, as I said, this is our intention as being the first event like this. We want to, um, we want to open this up so that um, uh, people will be able to have other questions down the road uh, for us. And you can come, uh, uh, you can, uh, sorry, you can tune in on some of these other events because I want to get into an event about the whole area of the skull, um, concussions, Alzheimer's, dementia with new information. There's also, um, I want to get into skin conditions and some of the research. So we'll probably do one on skin. There's a question here about acne. Can it help? Oh yeah, there's, it's beautiful how this can help with acne. How, there's another question here from Cin, uh, Cindy. How long does it take for our uh, light to get our light to get shipped. Okay, that the, um, we're looking at probably uh, about two to three weeks. Uh, we will try and ship it s sooner, but um, if uh, we're looking at that time period. Uh, what about macular degeneration? Although my product, we don't have any research behind it uh, for macular degeneration, but that's our, Chris, that's a really good question because guess what? I know the fellow who has de developed the device to go into optometrist's offices so they can treat macular degeneration with certain wavelengths of light so that they can help um, for dry macular degeneration. For wet, uh, it hasn't been uh, uh, tested yet, but for, for dry, there's a major study coming out. Uh, Kirsten, I see your, uh, is there something you'd like to add? Uh, I'm, uh, go ahead, Kirsten. <laughs> so we had a question about the folliculitis which is a fungal condition and it can be persistent. Um, I'm a dentist, I'm not a dermatologist, but you can sometimes get some hair loss with that too. So they'll often treat that with an antifungal. But what I wanted to say was, you know, recently after this infection that I had C. diff, I told you, uh, I shared with you, Tom, that I lost some hair, I lost my eyebrows. Um, so it wasn't just about C. diff. And I used a device. So as long as you have follicles that are still there, um, you can add some energy there. And um, I did get hair growth back. Now, I don't know if I want to say it's from the light. Also, my nutritional status was pretty challenged, but it is used a lot for that. So, um, and also, Tom, if in the research, I looked up here that they're using a lot of PDT for this as well. So that's something that you know yes, quite a bit PDT. about. Yes, yes. I, I will have to get into that in another discussion sometime about the use of certain type of photoactivated drugs that actually are work very, very well uh, for the body. One of them is uh, called 5-ALA. It's something your body makes naturally, but you take a higher dosage and then uh, it's used for the treatment of skin cancer, whether it's topical or orally used. And one of our companies is uh, Lumicell is doing work in that field. And so um, we can treat deeper cancers. What I did want to say is too, is um, I forget whether it was, uh, well, I think it was Mel, uh, Dr. No, uh, yeah, yeah, Dr. Birchman that had said about uh, with people with cancer, they get oral mucositis because mm -hmm. of the chemotherapy treatment. And I'm working with one of the top researchers. I, uh, I don't want to call him top because these days, when somebody says top doctor, it doesn't mean exactly what top doctor means. But anyways, that's my little side. But uh, anyways, he's a really, really smart uh, doctor and um, he a researcher. And they're going to be working with me for the fact that I have a newer light design that can treat oral mucositis 
with the PBM. Uh, we're looking at our last question here. Uh, is it good for plantar fasciitis? And that's by Julie. Uh, Julie, um, any one of the products would be able to do that. It depends on you, whether you're uh, treating deeper or not uh, for other things in the future. There's also the question of, do you ship to Canada? Yes, we do. There's uh, get into that uh, with you uh, directly. Um, it's, uh, and you'd have to you'd definitely order off the U.S. website and we can work something out. Uh, what about ten, ten, uh, tennis elbow? Um, you know, the 668 10 lights do work uh, well for tennis, uh, tennis elbow. Um, so the 1050 nanometer is our newer one. And yes, it would be good for that as well. Uh, what about shipment to Australia? Another question. Um, no problem shipping to Australia. Um, the, I've got some private emails and, uh, what, okay. Last, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Australia, we can ship anywhere in the world. It just means that, um, when you buy it, we ask that you buy it online first and the shipping cost will be from anywhere from the low end of hundred dollars us to $250 us, depending on the shipping speed and the courier you have. So place the order first. And then what we'll do is we will find out different couriers to your location and what the costs are and let you choose and then just bill you according to what shipping method you choose but that will take some time so please uh just uh, place the order online and we'll work out those de details later um rosacea yeah there's uh, I, oh sorry i'm not I, I can't i'm supposed to i'm supposed to shut up right now so anyways <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this has been fantastic that you can all join us today. So I wanted to repeat what uh, what I said. If you use the promo code 100, uh, that's promo and then space and 100, all capitals, you can get uh, the uh, discount of $100 today. Uh, also, if you can, uh, if you are are tight on on funds, and uh, we have the three payment plan, which can be helpful. We also have the Palm Classic right now. We've reduced it from $650 to the $455, oh, sorry, $495, and that's $155 off. And with all of your purchases, we're going to give you our new case that we've come up with um, to a carrying case. And so you can take it away around with your, your flights wherever you go. I know that the two doctors, they fly all over the place and they always bring a light with them because you never know who injures what. So um, all of these offers will uh, expire uh, by next Saturday. And my suggestion is I've had so many people, um, uh, yeah, uh, so many people, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> lost my train of thought. I need to use the helmet a little bit more. Uh, we've had so many requests that if you choose to order later in the week, we may have to extend our our delivery time to about four weeks because we've we've had an incredible number of uh, requests for purchases and that's all unfolding right now as we speak. I want to congratulate. Um, we just got the draw here, Joy Potter. Um, <laughs> congratulations, you got an ultimate. Um, this is fantastic. Um, anyways, I just. I really feel my mission in life is to honor God with the work I do. And I just thank you for joining me today. And I wish you all the best. And also, if anybody wants to um, call me at, or not call me, email me at some time, I will, um, I, for prayer, I, I believe in prayer and I'll pray with you. Um, um, good, um, sorry. Kirsten, could you? Uh... Yeah, I want to thank everybody too. I want to thank Tom for the opportunity to always be next to him during a few of these webinars. Um, we always have a little craziness going on at the beginning. It gets a little, and then then we're like, "Woo, that was so much fun. Let's do it again." It's sort of like childbirth, Tom. <laughs> I've never experienced it. <laughs> yeah, the first time you say, "I'm never going to do that again," and the next time you go, "You know." Maybe that wasn't so bad. So, um, but I did want to thank everybody for taking the time to join you today. It was a tremendous turnout. Um, look forward to the future. 
ones and remind everyone to please go to the red banner at the top of the screen and you can check out the devices that way. It just came off. I'm not sure why. Let me put it back up. Okay. And also Here we go. Email, email us any questions. Yes. You have. We're totally open to emails. So Tom, do you have people available today? If somebody calls today with a burning question, is yeah. there someone? Yeah, okay. we do. Uh, although I, um, one of our, it's very sad today. It's kind of a sad day because one of my, um, and <laughs> you have the good days and you have some sadness. Uh, one of my good friends uh, passed away. Um, his wife passed away and uh, oh. he was a, uh, he was, uh, I'm sorry. He was a board member of, uh, mm. my, my company. He, mm. he stood behind me in the early days when it didn't make any sense to stand by behind me, but we've gone through all these things and we've developed all this stuff and he lost his wife today. So it's really, oh. really unfortunate, uh, unfortunate. I mean, we don't control the timing on these things. We're not in charge, Tom. No, you could tell. <laughs> so, um, well, let's honor everybody's time today. Again, please reach out to Tom Kerber. I've got the banner. I'll leave that up for another minute here. And then you can always reach out through the website. Um, Tom, it's been my pleasure. Uh, Michaela, my pleasure. James Clark, my pleasure. Um, so let's do it again, really. And we'll make sure everybody gets an invite. Thank you now. Okay. Thank you.